Sorry about that. <laughs> I was uh, I was setting up the stream and the game uh, kind of threw me into a fight. A bunch of dudes just ran up and ganked me, but uh, we're okay. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, we are back with Like a Dragon, Gaiden, the man who erased his name, and the uh, we're currently uh, we we just got back from uh, from a pretty busy pretty busy chunk of story uh basically we um we went to the castle which as it turned out was a sort of hidden a hidden sort of den of debauchery uh on the uh, out on the ocean somewhere and the um out on the ocean somewhere and it contains a bunch of gambling and uh and a combat arena as you'd expect it kind of there was another area that was exactly like that in uh in, in earlier Yakuza games, where this one guy, I think his name was like Kage the Florist or something like that, and he, uh, he, what was it? He, he was, he was, uh, he, he was running the sort of underground area that was very similar, like in like, I guess, color scheme and its tendency to just explode your eyeballs with light. And it had the same. It also had just a shit ton of. It also had just a shit ton of gambling and uh, and a combat arena. So it's just the same thing. They they stole the idea. The Omi Alliance stole the idea because they're a bunch of snakes. And um the, and we went in there, did some did some arena fights, uh, proved that the legend of Kazuma Kiryu is still alive, and then we ran off. And then we ran off to uh, save our boss. Um, we we helped our boss, uh, saved him, got him some help, and now we're returning to Akame to. I don't remember exactly why we're doing that. Pocket circuit. <laughs> hey, all you former pocket circuit obsessives, come relieve your, relive your childhood. Take another lap on the pocket circuit track. Mm -hmm. Pocket circuit. <laughs> Pocket Circuit was a mini game in Yakuza Zero. <laughs> Come to think of it, I used to be really into Pocket Circuit. I, cu <laughs> I customized my cars, tried to win every race. There's a lot of depth to the game. I was just as into it as the kids were. <laughs> Excuse me, are you interested in Pocket Circuit? Do you know how it works? Mm. Hmm? Yeah, I used to race all the time in my younger days. I had heard the fad had passed, but it looks like it's still popular. Hi. It certainly is. Pocket Circuit's had something of a revival in recent times. Our cafe here only opened a short while ago. We cater to adults who used to be into Pocket Circuit, so you're a perfect fit. Oh god, it's what nostalgia now. If you're available, would you like to take a look inside? We've got a special welcome event of right, special right now. New guests get, get a free starter to kit. Cool. Man, I'm uh, not reading today. Oh, free, huh? I'm curious what Pocket Circuit is like these days. Maybe I should check it out. Uh. You sold me. I'll take a look. <laughs> Fantastic! Please, come inside. Dude, fucking Pocket Circuit. I got fucked up by those children. I had to look up guides. <laughs> oh, the track's exactly like I remember it. Oh, no! <laughs> Hi. So, what do you think of the Pocket Circuit bar? Uh. It's nice. It lets adults be more comfortable without sacrificing that Pocket Circuit feel. <laughs> Thank you very much. We offer drinks in addition to pocket circuits, so feel free to stop by whenever you like. Now, here's your free starter kit. It comes with a car and some additional parts. Enjoy. Golem Jaguar. Slick tires. Power motor. Balanced frame. Regular gears. Regular battery. Red... No. It hasn't changed. No. Thanks, this sure brings me back. You still collect a bunch of parts to customize your car, right? Hi. That's correct. We sell parts here at the cafe, of course, but some other shops in the city carry them as well. Your starter kit only includes basic components, so please collect lots of parts and cars and create a lightning-fast racer. Uh. Got it. What should I do when I want to try out a race? So Simply speak to me. The pos- the po- nah, pocket circuit fighter ran. Ron? Ran. It's free to enter races, since our main business is actually the item and drink sales. Hey. And what's more, every time you win, you'll receive po points you can exchange for car components and other items. There's no penalty for losing a race, either. It's a system where the more you race, the more you benefit. So keep on racing. Uh. Got it. When I want to race, I'll talk to you, then. I'm Joryu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Joryu-san. Mm. Um, in the pocket circuit world, the standard is to refer to, your, to our racers with Kun and Chan. Damn, already. So if it doesn't offend you, may I call you Joryu-kun? Mm. Alright, go right ahead. Oh, she's excited. Great, thank you very much. I enjoy. I look forward to lots of racing with you in the future, Joryu-kun. 
Pocket Circuit is just right for when I need to change the pace. I should stop by again when I have free time. Oh, fucking god. Dude, it's just like I remember it. There was like this, uh, they had different races and different track setups, and they would always do this thing, like, they had this thing where, like, that's the, that's like the lap line right there, where all the colors are, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was it. I don't know. Oh, no, 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 never mind. Um, but it was like, no, no, there's the, there's the lap line, fucking, right where the checkered flag is, of course. Idiot. Alright, um, but there was like, they basically had like a full, like, it would be a full, depending on what the, the obstacles were on the track, they had different, like, your car had, like, weight and inertia, and you had to come up with the right balance of things to make up for it, because it's like, you see how it's like, this goes up and then goes down, and then like, it, it, this is the tracks trading over to make sure that like, no one has the, uh, no one has the inside track, which is technically shorter, so like, it just, fl it flips over and puts you back on the far side, um, after you have the inside track to make sure it's like, more fair. And then they have the, they have like the little wiggle over there, and then like the, this little like baby hump, and then like the loop and stuff like that. Because like when you, if you have a car that's really fast, but it's got too much weight, it's got, it's got a lot of momentum, right? So it'll tip over the side of the wall if it's like, if it hits a curve or something. But if it doesn't have enough weight, then it won't stick to the track when it goes up. So it'll just launch straight off the fucking ramp and then not land well. And if you, uh, and, and you need, and you need speed, obviously, because otherwise you're not going to win the fucking race. So you needed to, like, keep collecting, not just, like, you can't just get the best parts and then win every race. You had to get different parts for different races. And I just, I don't know, at one point I was like, I can't do this anymore, dude. And I just looked up the, uh, I just, I just looked up what the optimal parts were because I was, uh, I didn't want to trial and error it. I also didn't want to collect a whole bunch of parts that I didn't need. I wanted to be efficient, so I looked up a guide. <laughs> Make fun of me if you will. Get a lemon squash, I guess. Don't need to drink right now. Peter's voice actor's really fucking good, because he's supposed to be super serious all the time, but he, like, gives the right emphasis to all the other stuff. Like, when he said, Yush, Ikukuga, or whatever he said, he, like, sounds like he's like, Yep, let's get going. <laughs> Oops. It'd be so funny if someone actually Japanese, like, watched my stream, and they're like, Yeah, every time you speak Japanese, you just said, Just the most obscene stuff. <laughs> On accident. Very funny. We laugh at you every day. <laughs> Alright, the town's looking good. It hasn't caught on fire since I was gone, which is good. Alright. God, I'm really glad we got to play at, at least one game with Kiryu with like a like the faster sort of the faster sort of combat system that Judgment really picked up because that was uh that Judgment just felt really smooth compared to some of the older Yakuza games. And I'm glad we got to see Kiryu just kinda do it. Oh, because it's like, the older Yakuza games are fun, but you can definitely feel, like, I played Yakuza 3, which is the old, like, it was remastered, so it was as the game originally felt, like, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't re, wasn't remade like Kiwami was. Yep, it's a side activity we've got now. Second banana. Second <laughs> Yeah, I saved my boss, I should probably go. 
キャッスルに行くのは悪いそんなあかん何遠慮しとんねんキャッスルのお客さんたちはみんなあんたが来んのを待ってるからねこんなに人から求められることなんてそうそうないわうちもあんたの戦う姿がまた見たいせやからええやろ今からすぐまたキャッスルに行こう今からすぐって急に何なんだそれが…おまいガードカーメン。闘技場の受付に、ジョーニーはメインイベントにも出ますって契約してたんよ。なんだといや、わざとやないね。けど、受付で登録した時の書類にちっちゃく書いてあったんや。せやから、上流には少なくとも、もう一回戦ってもらわない。How solid is a Yakuza contract? Like, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna take an. I don't think they're gonna take a contract for an illegal tournament in an illegal coliseum on a boat in the middle of the ocean, seriously, in like an actual Japanese court. So, like. なら、今すぐ行った方が、断然お得やない。な、な。<sighs> どうやら。マジで言ってるみてえだな。I guess we're doing it。あんな。The fight you're entering is gonna be a one-on-one -on -one death match. So either you win and get a reward, or you lose and get turned into worm food. Great. But I'm sure you'll be totally fine. You're the strongest guy I've ever met. Yeah. I don't need the flattery. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Kiryu's just like, oh, I I die if I lose. Cool. It's like it's like normal. <laughs> yeah, I knew I could count on you. Now for the lowdown on your opponent. This guy's a former pro wrestler known for his raw power. They call him Hammerhead. My sources say his muscles are hard and his blows are harder. Great. Huh, says here he ain't lost once since coming to the castle. Might be tough, even for you. Did you just say I was the strongest guy you'd ever met? So much for the confidence boost. Okay. Hey, what kind of talk is that? Don't worry, you're still my golden goose. Mm. Accidentally sending you your, to your death would cost me big, so you can't shirk on your preparations. Old Mizorogi from the weapon shop's got a new gadget for you, too. This one's called the Weaponized Footwear Gadget Serpent. <laughs> is it a shoe knife? <laughs> Hornet, Firefly, and now Serpent. And Mizorogi made it, I'm sure I can trust its quality. <laughs> right? You gotta get your hands on it. And when you do, let's head back to the castle. Sounds good? Okay. <laughs> Is it a shoe knife? Is it a shoe taser? Is it a shoe gun? I doubt it's a shoe gun. Did you imagine kicking bullets at a person? That'd be kind of funny. Damn, something more is lit the fuck up. Alright, let's get going. We'll, we'll get some pocket circuit parts at some point. Might, might, might poke around and see where I can find some. Usually... It's one of those it's one of those Yakuza mini games where they hide the they hide stuff behind all the other mini games. So if you want to if you want to fight um, if you want to if you want to get like a really good pocket circuit car, you probably have to do some other stuff or go to some other stores and perform some other activities. Those are some plastic ass looking guns. I see. So you're going up against Hammerhead next, eh? Mm. Can't say I'd heard of him before. Is he really that famous? Ooh. Yeah, you're coming back in a box, pal. You sure Akami Chan's not setting you up? Mm. Huh, <laughs> she might be. But as long as I've got one of your weapons, I'm sure to survive. Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> exactly right. And as I. Sorry, did I give this guy a really gritty voice last time I voiced him? I don't remember. And as I bet you heard from Akami Chan, I've got Chan, I've got a new badge. Uh, God damn, what is up with me? I like overslept last night. <laughs> I got a new gadget for you. I call it the weaponized footwork gadget, Serpent. Mm. Nice looking shoes. I see the wingtips. I know they. Never mind. And what do they do exactly? Mm. Put them on and you'll be moving at unbelievable speeds. Hammerhead will be at your mercy. No matter how strong you may be, he can't do nothing if he can't hit you. Mm. Sounds pretty impressive, but I imagine they'll cost me quite a bit. <laughs> ah, don't talk nonsense, Joryu. What, you're, what are you doing acting like a stranger? We're way closer than that, so just take them. 
This guy's too nice. <laughs> that is not what I was fucking expecting. Jet propulsion? <laughs> you know, use the serpent. The serpent can be strengthened with money and Akame points in the pause menu's upgrade screen. Doing so will bring you even greater advantages in battle. It would be rude to refuse after you said all that. Alright, I'll gladly accept. Ooh. Good. But in exchange, if you want to upgrade those gadgets, I'm going to need you to charge you. Sorry about that. Yeah. That's only fair. I'd pay even if you didn't charge me. Anywho. I'll be waiting for your next visit. You got a fan for life in me, Joryu. Like, I just got, a, like, a time bomb or something on that on that table. <laughs> Alright. Uh, buh, buh, buh. You've unlocked a new ability. Tell me about it. Oh, you can learn new, like, spider attacks. Okay. And where's... Okay, okay, there it is. Serpent level up. Gadget... Sorry. A gadget efficient mechan... A gadget enhancement mechanism. Installing this will improve the efficiency of the jet mechanism and increase its act... Its continuous act... Is Kiryu just flying? Is that what I'm seeing in this fucking, like, picture here? Jesus, I need money. Hang on. Oh, do, does the does the castle thing give us money? There's usually one side. There's usually one side thing in every Yakuza game that gives you like a shit ton of money, like some business or something you run. You know, there's a cabaret club in Sotenbori called Forshine. Did you say Forshine? Heard of it? Yes, but I suppose it's pretty well known. Sure is. So you know, a friend of mine who's living overseas wants to know how the place is doing. Even a pick of the sign would tickle her fancy. So could I get you to take one for her? Four shine, huh? That takes me back. I'm curious how it's doing too, so maybe I should stop by and take a photo. Is that another Yakuza Zero reference? Was Four Shine the name of that place that uh, Majima was running? Maybe. Hang on. Let's get a let's get a fight going to see what Serpent's all about. So how does? Wait, hang on. Uh, battle gear. There's Firefly. Hold square to throw it. It can also trigger chain reaction, so adjusting the explosion timing and deployment area can lead to spectacular results. Yeah, I bet there's... I bet there's probably a combo video out there of someone tossing the Firefly and, like, comboing a dude into it. Like, like getting the timing just right. Hold... Okay, so it's, it's hold one of every face button. That's all the gadgets for Asian style. Damage when tackling enemies depending on speed, tilt, and the opposite direction of your movement to quickly change direction. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> Excuse me. Is there a defense to this? <laughs> I guess there is. Oh my god, you could just do it. <laughs> so stupid <laughs> oh my god I'm like the most violent ice skater out there that's fucking great hang on it says you can like change direct oops sorry it says you can like change direction like oh that's fucking insane holy shit Dude, I can't. <laughs> That's like so cool, but so dumb at the same time. I, I fucking love it. Holy shit. What's going on here? Child. Oh, right, do you guys wanna... Is the cat available? That's right. I wanted to do this, uh... I wanted to do this, um... I wanted to do this request earlier, but there's a fucking issue because the toys in the crane machine are randomized, and that girl wants a specific one, so every time I went in, they just kind of didn't have it. That's right. Maybe we should do another sub-story while we're down here. See if maybe we can get some more money.
but not for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little... I'm a little... I'm a little tired today. I, I think I've been, like, skimping on sleep the past couple nights because my body, uh... My body extracted its due last night. It, um... I, I slept for, like, I think, like, nine and a half Johnny. hours or something, which is too long. You can give her a gift. Does she like cigarettes? Aw. The same man always comes to collect. Oh, Kurt, did you did you fucking see the gadget we just got? Hang on. You missed it. Oh, buddy. So we got a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Alright, this isn't the best place to do it. It might be, actually it might be perfect. Hang on. Alright. Fly kicks? Yes, I do have fly kicks. Woo! <laughs> you can just fucking, just fucking. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Oop. Dude, the gadgets are so fucking dumb. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we'll just casually walk into the convenience store after doing that. <laughs> Ichiban Senbei? Yeah, we should should help out our bro Ichiban. There we go. Stock back up on Bentos. Alright, we're good. He got health. Should be good for the Coliseum. We'll entertain the people by shoveling an entire, uh, an entire lunch meal down while Hammerhead's beating the fucking tar out of us. Sounds like a plan. I hope you guys are all doing alright today. Uh, <laughs> literally all of my friends are getting sick, so I'm, uh, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> it's like normal sick, but it's still like, uh, still, still a little scary. Kami Network, go to the castle. Yeah, let's go to the castle. We literally just got back from there, but I guess we'll go. <laughs> hey, Jorya. Heard you really outdid yourself this time. Mm hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? You managed to get old man Mizorogi singing your praises. He was gushing about how he thought you could be the best in the world. I wish I could give him all my merchandise on the house. He just wouldn't stop drooling over you. Mm. What kind of killer pickup line you dropped to get him to fall for you that hard? Oh, uh. Kiryu gets all the dudes. Trust me. From what I heard, he used to be a pretty renowned fighter. Maybe meeting him me reminded him of those days. Huh. Well, either way, you really saved my bacon coming back to get to the castle. You got your weapons all sorted, right? Let's, now let's go earn some cash in the Coliseum. My weapons, I, I have a lot of fried pork cutlets, that's what I've got. Oh god, there's just, just, again? <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec, Jiryu. What is it? Something else you wanted to say? Well, not exactly. I just wanted to tell you about that shop over there, the boutique. The boutique. Yep, I bet they'll have some equipment for you too. Hammerhead's a tough opponent, so it couldn't hurt, right? Right, I'll take a look. Man, we're really hyping up this Hammerhead guy. So this is the boutique. Oh what god. Welcome to our store, sir. Hmm? Hmm? Who are you? My name is MB, the owner of this boutique. Is this your first time at our establishment? Uh. Yeah, I'm looking for a binding. Mm. This is a pretty fancy place you got here. What kind of shop is this? Eh. Ah, we serve two different kinds of customers here at the castle. Fighters in the Coliseum, and the specially chosen spectators who come to watch them. As such, we sell equipment for those like yourself, in addition to fashionable wear for our non-fighting customers. Each is sold at a different counter. Mm. Fashionable wear. Fight. Oh, yes. As you might imagine, our ordinary customers do not choose their outfits based on their protected properties, but rather how stylish they are. 
At this store, we sell only the best of the best, obtained from across the globe. In addition, we provide services to help our customers put together the most fashionable of outfits. Did they? I wonder if the developers at uh, the the developers of this game watched uh, John Wick, because <laughs> I feel like I feel like I've seen a spike in like interest in spy shit. Because like it used to be James Bond was the thing that got everyone into uh, into super like high like high end stylish sort of secret agent stuff, and then John Wick showed up, and then that kind of like reignited like that scene in John Wick Two where um they're uh, like i think john's in italy and then he's getting a uh, he's getting geared up you remember that you remember that scene it's pretty famous now where like uh the he's like he's like detailing all these different guns that john that that he has available for john and like basically describing them like their meals <laughs> do we have something for dessert <laughs> dessert yeah i remember that one anyway uh at the store we saw on the best of the best da -da -da -da. Mm. Putting together outfits? Hi. That's right. I see you have quite a lovely suit on, but is that perhaps your only one? Uh. I'm going to eat a lead and I like, and like it. If I'm going to get shot to death, I might as well make a nice corpse. You know? Dress myself up nice. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. More, more or less. Far be it from me to criticize your choice, sir, but the world is full of other suits and accessories. Mm. Just by making small changes, you can become perfectly fashionable even in, 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 even, in, yeah, even in that outfit of yours. Everyone shits on Kiryu's suits, even though I think he looks pretty sharp. And since you have, if I may say so, a very nice physique, a little effort is all it'll take to become a dashing gentleman. So, what do you say? Why not try out the trends for once? Mm. But, but I only need a binding. Yes, yes, you can buy that later. First, you need style. How about it, huh? Yeah. Plus, in addition to your normal clothes, I can also adjust your mask and outfit for when you fight in the Coliseum. You are a fighter, correct? What do you think? Have I caught your interest? Mm. My fighting outfit in the Coliseum, huh? I would rather not go out there in some ugly mask. Fight. Yeah, the actual purpose of your visit is for later. I'm. I have abducted you, and we're going to have. We're going to have my kind of fun first. Perfect. Let's get a look at both your normal clothes and your Coliseum getup. I guess it won't hurt to try. Here you need to learn how to tell people no. At the castle's boutique, you can show off some personal flair by coordinating your looks. Outfit items can be purchased directly from the boutique, but you may also find them around the city. Try different combinations and find something that suits your style. Huh. No. I guess we'll go with the masquerade mask. We've we've had our fun with the uh, we've had our fun with the uh, the the goofy looking one. Oh damn! <laughs> ah yes, peak fashion. It's just like it's just like I've heard from other people. Just don't wear colors. <laughs> go monochrome. That's how that's what fashion is. <laughs> that's all. That's what I heard anyway. I'd wear the fox mask, but I'd want a suit that has a little bit of red on it, if we're gonna wear that, but I guess we'll stick with the masquerade thing. Hands, fingerless gloves, leather gloves, gel nails, ooh. Colors for squares, he is a square. He's actually, he's actually a rectangle. Oh my god, I could put earrings on Kiryu. That just doesn't... Something about that doesn't feel right. Uh, maybe these. <laughs> I don't know, Kiryu doesn't seem like... He's very no-nonsense. I feel like... I'm a little bummed that these are our, like the totality of our options for suits, just because it's like... I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I feel like the main thing for Kiryu is like whether he uh actually a rose costs 100,000 yen. <laughs> that's 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 like $700. <laughs> okay, we'll go with the carnation for now. Can I afford the fox? Oh, I already have the fox mask. All right. Comes in black. Oh shit. Look at that. And we'll stick with white. And go with like the, the carnation maybe. Eh. Oh my god. 
That's hideous. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. Alright, I've got an idea for later. Okay, so you get the color... You get the color afterwards. You can get some garish shit, looks like. Alright. Yoka. Can I have forward gloves anymore? Nope. <laughs> Damn. All right. Uh, we'll stick with that. Can I? Coordinator. A casual wear. Set. No. Okay. Is it same options for walking around outside? Okay. Gotcha. This seems more curious style than the other ones, to be honest. Look at that. That's pretty. He looks pretty good with those. It's kind of nuts. All right. Uh, yeah, we're done. <laughs> I've spent all my money on a single carnation. I look the same. Look at someone. <laughs> uh. Oh God. <laughs> I think his default look looks fine, and I can't afford any other clothes, so... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> you look absolutely wonderful. Uh. I do? I look the same. <laughs> it does feel... <laughs> it does feel nice trying something different. Paying attention to my clothes might not be so bad every once in a while. Exactly right. We plan to add more goods over time, too, so come back when you're in the mood for another change. You can purchase the, that binding you were looking for at the counter over there. Please take your time and see all that we have to offer. Uh. Understood. I'm curious about the equipment here. I'll take a look. When I'm all ready, I should head to the Coliseum. Alright, I blew all of my cash, so I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we can afford anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we definitely cannot afford anything. We couldn't have afforded anything before we came in. This shit's expensive. You can buy an iron breastplate. <laughs> Sengoku armor. Reduces gunshot damage and enables guarding against bullets. I don't think that's true, but... Uh, most people are using pistols, so that would make sense. That's fucking nuts. Alright, well, I feel like I'm about to get my ass beat, but alright, let's do it. Alright, we've got an outfit, kinda. <laughs> alright, let's go fight Hammerhead or whatever. I better get paid, like, a lot of money for this, because it was a lot of bother to get me over here. Also, I dislike everyone uh, here. <laughs> hi. Oh, no, no intro, we're just doing it. I was expecting Hammerhead to be a little bit, I don't know, bigger. Well, I didn't seem to be able to handle the, the, the jet boots very well. <laughs> he actually has no idea what to do. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, tried to, tried to bump him into it. Alright. Trying to figure out how this, this whole, how, how you're supposed to combo these things together. I haven't really figured out the, uh... I haven't really figured out the uh, the gadgets so much. They hammered this guy way the fuck up, and I'm doing okay. One sec. <laughs> it is the dodge button. All right. He missed. Oh. 
Okay, well, there he goes. Well, that was something. Jorio-sama. Congratulations, Joryu sama What a wonderful battle. <laughs> Yo, I was watching it all, Joryu. Exactly what I expected to see from a red tiger man. <laughs> huh, thanks. And because of you, the Kami Network stock is up all over Sodenbori. Is there like a is there a stock market for underground like information networks? How do you know? <laughs> Ever since you came here, it's been one good thing after another. I'm counting on you to keep it up. Woo! With this, we've met the requirements to hit silver rank. Mm -hmm. Silver rank. Oh god, it's a rank system. It's just like League of Legends. Silver rank, what's that? Oh, the castle's got this system called crew rank. At higher levels, they even let you into restricted areas. For example, there's a secret shop for super elites and even a high stakes casino. As you rank up, you'll fight even stronger Coliseum opponents under lots of different rule sets. Of course, the rewards will get juicier, too. The crew rank represents your rank in the castle. As you complete requests on the Akame network, you may be awarded tigers. With each new tiger, your crew rank increases, and the following changes will occur at the castle. Certain areas will be unlocked, shops will expand their inventory, and more fights will become available at the Coliseum. When you receive the Platinum Tiger, which signifies the highest rank, you'll be able to enter all areas and enjoy all castle amenities, which are only available to VIPs. Okay. So the castle, like, gradually evolves as you do the side content. That makes sense. This game's story is, like, really short. So, compared to other Yakuza games, so it makes sense that, like, the they made it so that the side content's a lot juicier. There's a handful of requirements you're gonna have to fulfill to increase your rank, but with this victory, you completed all of them. Nice work. This here's your proof for reaching silver rank. Here you go. Cool. So, after the red tiger comes silver. Silver tiger. Yep. But to make it to the top, you're gonna have to work your way up to two more ranks. Gold, then platinum. Hi. That is true, but silver rank has its privileges, too. Since you've come all this way, please allow me a few minutes to show you around. Oh god. Alright. I hope wherever we go it doesn't set my computer on fire. Oh, yeah. we're off to a good start. Here we have the Fighter's Lounge. Com competitors of silver rank and above are free to use it whenever they'd like. Wowie, this place is fancy. Pretty sweet, Edge, are you? Hi. The bar is a place where the most respected fighters in the castle gather. I've always looked up to them, so it's an honor to be able to bring you here, Joryu-sama. Mm. Yep, and that tracks. Castle's the sort of place where people with strength and money get all kinds of special treatment. Hmm? Someone there? Man with shoes. Oh, it's Hammerhead. Oh. Hello. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for before for beating your ass. <laughs> it's me, Hammerhead, by the way. Money? Hey, you barging your way in here because you're sore about losing the match or what? Yeah. No, no, it's nothing like that. I apologize if I startled you, but... Mm. You really crushed me earlier. I thought I was going to be killed right there and then. And yet, you spared my life, Joryu Aniki. Oh, no. <laughs> Aniki! You really must be something special, Joryu, if even the guy who's ass you beat is talking like that. That's why I was... Well... I was hoping you might take me on as your apprentice! <laughs> I want to be like you, Aniki. Please! <laughs> Sorry, but I'm in no position to take on an apprentice. And I've seen your strength firsthand. You're plenty tough without my help. Yeah. No, that's far from the truth. If you won't let me be your apprentice, then at least let me stay by your side. I'm begging you. <laughs> Sorry, Hammerhead. My Jory is trying to avoid attracting attention, you know? Hello. Excuse me, I don't mean to be forward, but may I interrupt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? The battles at the Castle Coliseum aren't limited to one-on-one -on -one matches, but instead have a number of different rule sets. Hi. One of these is called the Hell Team Rumble. <laughs> oh yeah, the Hell Team Rumble. I get it. If you're gonna compete with that, you gotta have an ally on your side. Eh. Correct. Being a match type that involves multiple combatants on both sides, the Hell Team Rumble is one of the castle's biggest attractions. Hi. And in accordance with its popularity, the rewards are considerably higher. Hey, yep. If you want to make money here at the castle, you gotta try it. Your reputation is well known throughout the castle, Joryu-sama. If you were to put a team together, you would fully capture our patrons' attention. Ano. So, if you aren't opposed to the idea, why don't you allow me to set up a team registry for you to add ha and add Hammerhead-sama as a member? Oh man, that sounds great! I'm in if you are, Aniki. What do you say? Does that mean I'd only have a team of two? Hi. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to recruit more allies in no time. In fact, the whole purpose of this lounge is for fighters to meet and interact. Now that's a hell of an idea. All right, the Joryu clan is born. Mm. The, the Joryu clan? 
I guess that is what a lot of groups go by, and if it fits where we- and it fits with where we are. Plus, it's got a certain ring to it. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Alright, then it's settled. Congratulations, Kit Hammerhead. Looks like it's your lucky day. Thank you so much. They have stats. They have levels and stats. Fuck. His heat skill is heat mode. Greatly increases attack. Stance becomes harder to break. A former pro wrestler, Joe, you defeated him in the Coliseum, then chose to spare his life. With this show of heroic compassion, inspired him to become Joryu's willing disciple. He's a support character who will stick close to the leader while also being an aggressive fighter who stands boldly against opponents. Whew. Okay. <laughs> In the Castle Coliseum, strength is everything. People flock to those who display true might. As your victories in the Coliseum continue, your fame will grow, and those you have defeated will be more inclined to become your allies. Yeah. Of course, members eligible for your team may be found in places outside of this lounge, too. Sienna. That's right. You your hand is clipping into your chest there. <laughs> you should keep an eye out for good candidates as you're helping me around so Mori. Mm. All right. Well, since I've got time, I might as well take in the sights. Hello. I'm excited to see what the future holds for the Joryu clan. Incidentally, my name is Tom, the Coliseum receptionist. Please allow me to apologize for not greeting you properly earlier. I look forward to continuing to work with you. Mm. After all this time, now you're introducing yourself? <laughs> I am usually only acquainted with participants for a short while. However, it seems as though you may be here for longer than is typical. Hi. That's why I judge this to be my chance to properly introduce myself. Uh. Fair enough. tom -san, was it? I look forward to working with you too. All right, be a waste not to, to to not try now, right? Why not search for more so Hammerhead doesn't get lonely? That may be a wise decision. When your preparations are complete, come see me at the Coliseum reception desk. I very much look forward to the Joryu Clown's entry. Wow, that woman's straight up in the, that's that's a bikini bar just in the middle of this this lounge. Okay, woo, let's get searching. Uh. Right. It might be best to find people looking for a team to join. Mm. I spied some drinking at the bar. Why not go and chat them up? Wow, they they are <laughs> making us do this this whole thing. Jesus. It'll be just like picking up girls. You're good at that, right, Joryu? Uh, an accident, yeah. <sighs> I don't know if I'd say that. Uh. But waiting won't get us anywhere, so I'll give it a shot. Do you guys remember, um... Do you guys remember the ninja guy from uh, Judgment? Do you think this is the same guy? Boy. Hey, got a minute? Yeah? What's up? Uh. I'm putting together a group for this Hell Team whatever thing. You interested? <laughs> oh, the Hell Team Rumble? Talk about timing. I'm also looking for teammates at the moment, mm. but I can't talk right now. I've got a way bigger problem to deal with. Mm. What's wrong? <sighs> I just ordered a drink, but only now realized I don't have the money to pay for it. What, that's all? Just cancel your order. No way, I can't be lame like that, or the cutie who works there will be think I'm a total dweeb. Mm. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, quite the problem you have there. Please, you gotta help me. Lend me a thousand yen. I'll join your team if you do. <laughs> okay. Alright, here. Don't worry about paying it back. This guy probably sucks. <laughs> Whoa, thanks. You really saved my ass. Alright, a deal's a deal. I'll join your team. I'm Hattori the Ninja. Nice to meet you. No, it's a different guy. He used to play a ninja at an amusement park, but a large debt has forced him into the Coliseum. He confuses enemies with nimble movement and kunai attacks. Not only does he have an attack that stuns enemies, he's an aggressive fighter who will boldly pursue opponents. Heat skill, extreme slash, performs an unguardable slash attack, inflicts heavy damage. Wow. I don't have the plate. He fucking disappeared. This woman's cheering to no one. Yeah, there's no one there. Tragic. Lounge shop clerk. Ceremonial oath sake cup. The perfect present for a fighter. Give this to... <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> my head is in my fucking hands. No! You can... There's a bond mechanic?! <laughs> You're fucking joking. Holy shit. Okay. I can give fancy cups to my bros to increase their stats, I think. There's, there's Hattori the ninja. Uh, is them standing at the table mean that they're available? That's neat. 
This game just keeps going. Yeah, it just keeps Good. getting deeper. Hey, got a moment? Eh? Uh, yes, sir? I'm putting together a group of this hell team whatever thing. You interested? Uh -huh. Huh? You want me? Uh. Yeah. I won't force you, though. Not your thing? No, no, that's not at all. Yes! Yes, please! I'd love to join. But are you sure you want someone like me? I thought of myself as a good fighter and quit my job to try to make money off it, but I just keep losing. I'm getting fed up with how weak I am. Then you can get better while we fight together. Welcome to the Joryu clan. Thank you so much. I'll do my best to prove my worth. Businessman Taro. A martial artist who left his job as a businessman. He's... Isn't Taro, like... Isn't Taro Tanaka or whatever, like, the John Doe of Japanese names? Like, it's just a really generic name. It seems he never lost a battle during his businessman days. He's a dangerous man who becomes ferocious the moment he gets his hands on a weapon, but he's good at aggressive fighting and boldly confronts his enemies. Is that, like... Is that gonna be... Is that description gonna be in literally every single one of these guys' is like little descriptors. Like, he's an aggressive fighter that boldly confronts his enemies. I've seen that at least twice. <laughs> we've, we've, we've hired John from accounting. That's what we just did. Good. Hey, got a moment? Eh? Hmm? I'm putting together a group for this Hell Team whatever. Okay, you should know it by now, Kiryu. <laughs> Hell Team whatever thing. You interested? Hmm, I'm not against it, but do you mind if I ask you a few questions first? Mm. Questions? Oh. Yes, forming a team means having each other's backs. It's important we ensure we're compatible. Mm. Am I dating these dudes? So that's what you mean. Okay, go ahead, ask away. Alright, first off, why did you call out mm. to me? Well... I think we fight well together. You've got a good aura. <laughs> oh, nice of you to say that. Okay, next question. What strengths are you hoping I'll bring to your mm. team? Hmm... The sturdiness to stay upright after taking a beating. The sturdiness to take a bunch of blows and still stay upright. That's the kind of person I want fighting by my side. Oh. I see. Then I may be just the person you're looking for. I'm... I'm Phoenixy. <laughs> like Phoenix and Aniki. Used to be just An used to just be An Aniki before they saw no matter how hard I get hit, I always get up again, just like a Phoenix. I'd be happy to join your team. Allow me to be your shield. Okay, so we've got Hammerhead, we've got a ninja, and we've got a businessman, and we've got... Whatever the fuck this is. A hammer wielder susceptible to sweet talk. No matter how hard an enemy hits, he gets back up, just like a phoenix. Is strong against electricity and resistant to paralysis? <laughs> is his skin made out of rubber? What? <laughs> He'll draw the enemy's attention to act as a shield for allies. Okay, so we've got... So we've got Kiryu, who's our our our, 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 our murder apocalypse guy. He'll, he'll kill everybody. We've got... Businessman Taro, who's like our, uh, I guess like an all-rounder. We've got Hattori the Ninja, who's kind of like a rogue, I guess, because he's like fast. And then we got Phoenixy, I think is how I pronounce it. Is how you pronounce it. He's uh, he's there to he's there to he's there to to take hits, I guess. The famous castle bowl, a rice bowl made specially for the castle. The, this fighter's lounge favorite is packed with stamina boosting ingredients. What the hell is that in there? What ingredient is that? Is that supposed to be meat? Maybe. I see garlic chips, at least. The castle has its own craft beer. That's kind of hilarious. This is your first time, right, mister? Yeah, I plan on making use of here from time to time. Gotcha! If you're free, we can go play darts nearby. Let's hang out sometime. <laughs> sure, if I've got time to spare. Oh god, you can hang out with the women. That, I mean, that, that that's a that's a Yakuza feature, usually. Hey, Joryu, all good? Yeah, should be able to enter this hell thing. <laughs> he forgot more words. <laughs> He's using even less of the title. <laughs> I knew you could do it, you charming lug. Let's get back to the reception. It'd be so funny if we lost. Because I'm getting, like, I'm, I'm dragging a heavy weight here. Alright, let's fight. This, uh, hellish place. This hell thing, whatever. Georgia's this alive. heckin' battle. <laughs> hell Team Rumble? More like... More like... Heck squad tumble. <laughs> uh, swearing's bad. Welcome back, Jory Sama. Have you gathered members for your team? Uh, I did. Now I can now I can participate in this match, right? Yeah. 
Yes, of course. Please let me know when you're ready. Uh, let's, 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 let's go. The story demands. We've got a formation. <laughs> this is just gonna be a mess, right? Like I'm just gonna I'm gonna let these guys be the anvil and I will be the hammer. That's my plan. Okay. <laughs> How to win. Defeat all enemies within the time limit. You lose if the time limit runs out. The leader, the player you control, reaches zero HP. The player you control... Can we switch? As your allies fall, your enemies may begin to focus their attacks on you. Always make sure to keep an eye on your allies' HP at the bottom of the screen. Holy fuck. There's orders? Oh, these guys have a lot of health. Oh my god, this is a mess. You got one. Man, let's just juggle this guy a little bit. Okay, order. What is this? Oh! <laughs> oh, wow, that increases your attack by a lot. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Order. Do it. <laughs> Do better. S. <gasps> we got 250k? Holy shit. Okay, this is great. <laughs> and the people love us. We got 120 followers on TikTok or something. <laughs> Holy shit. We're leveling up. I can afford two roses now. Holy. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic, Joryu-sama. Your debut in the Hell Team Rumble thrilled the audience as always. Like. The Joryu clan is no doubt etched in the memories of all who spend their time at the castle. Uh. That's so. Thanks, Tom-san. Should head back to Sotenbori for now. I'm sure Akami will let me take a break now. Dude, getting Kiryu to do stuff is easy. You just need to get, like, an attractive woman to just be like, please, and he'll go, okay. <laughs> oh, is that little, is that look, is that little, like... You there, handsome and imposing Coliseum fighter. Looking for capable fighters? I know the perfect people for your team. There's a small finder's fee, of course, but I'm running the lowest rate I can. There are guests in the castle who will introduce you to Coliseum fighters for a fee. Hit them up when you're in need of new allies. The rigorous standards I've employed to select these fighters ensures your choice is satisfactory. And if you choose now, you'll only pay the low, low price of 100,000 yen. What'll it be? Mm. Nah, I'm good. Bro, I've got a ninja. I'm good. I'm going to train these men to be the finest. <laughs> if I can... I, I'll train Hattori until he's an actual ninja, like an actual assassin. I'm going to train Business Montaro until he's the most threatening businessman on the planet, and Finicky will become immortal, like, actually. That's my plan. I'm not done until these men are the best. It's kind of a shame you can't really shut this place down, honestly. I'm... I'm a little bothered by the debt slave thing. I'm not gonna lie. This is a bit of a it's a bit of a bummer, if you ask me. <laughs> not quite interested. I guess we just I, I guess we just ignore that like good citizens. Hmm. I like Agent's style, but I also really like Yakuza's style, which is kind of why I keep investing in this instead. It's a shame the Grapple Breaker thing is uh, only for uh, is only for Yakuza style, because it's it seems like it'd be a universal thing, if you ask me. Da -da -da -da, knockback. Oh, we can do the Komaki reversal or whatever that thing's called. 
What else? Boost max health sounds like a plan. I do like how they brought back the whole spend money to get power kind of thing from Yakuza 0, because whenever whenever you have a Yakuza game where they split it, like the money you get and the, the skill points you get, it always felt like you didn't have enough skill points, but you always had too much money, so it's kind of a nice way to just merge the two. Hey Joryu, do you know there are certain places you can and can't go into the castle? <clears throat> what kind of places? Well, like I said, right now we got a silver tiger. In the castle, that means we're silver rank. And that means we can't enter places reserved for gold and platinum fighters. In the Coliseum, if you're not gold or higher, then you can't compete in high-level fights. Those are where all the real money's at. It also gets you into the VIP lounge, where you can buy all sorts of new stuff. See, there's lots of good things that come with raising your rank. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. Seems like a good idea, but what do I need to do? It's easy! You, got, you just gotta meet the castle's requirements. In our case, there's two of them. First, we need to raise the Akame network level. We do that by making money and gaining the trust in the legit parts of Sotenbori. That'll earn us favor in the castle. Then we gotta increase our fame. Best way to do that is fighting in the Colosseum. So level up the Akame network and produce results in the Colosseum. Yep. And when the network's at level 10... We're already at level 10. <laughs> and you've beaten three of the silver rank fights, the gold will be yours. And when you're done, I'll get you a brand new gold tiger, so just holler. Uh. Got it. Ben Dala get strongest, Ben Yen get level one. Ooh. Ooh. Nice one. I want my fight against Hammerhead. Maybe I should play Mizorogi a visit and thank him, at the, thank him for the gadgets. We've got literally nothing else going on right now, huh? Master try and hit me. Greetings. Hello. I believe you received an email from my brother some time ago. I'm sure you've heard of the try and hit me brothers, a moniker renowned throughout the Coliseum. I happen to be the older sibling in that duo. Truth be told, flinging mud into the faces of arrogant rookies and putting them in their place is a beloved hobby of mine. I would like to invite you to share in the joys of this hobby with me. To survive in the castle, above all, money is key, is it not? If you manage to best me in our bout, I will reward you handsomely. I believe you will find our time together much more satisfying than your tussle with my brother. I shall wait for you near the receptionist in the casino of the castle. <laughs> Mr. Try and Hit Me. Hey you, try and hit me. Tom told me there's some new hot shot at the Coliseum. I don't appreciate how you skipped out on giving me a friendly self-introduction. I say you have a go right around with me, and I'll even fork over the big bucks if you win. I'll be waiting for you at the gambling hall in the casino, in the castle. Come and try me. God, we're so popular today. Woo! You finally hit silver, Joryu. Keep it up and you'll be rolling on up to the top in no time. Now that you've hit silver... We already knew all of this. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? We're okay. So it's Mr. Try and Hit Me and Master Try and Hit Me. Got it. Do any requests? We've got... Oh, Christ alive. We've got a bunch of sub-stories to do. Yeah, and these are all these are this is these are all this is the kitty cat thing. These are all for like taking pictures of stuff, which is why I haven't done them. Is this this can't be all of the ones in the game, can it? Maybe it is. There's one we're missing. Well, I did all the fighting ones. Uh, millionaire, ten millionaire, chatty. Give it. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, okay, so I think we've got all the gadgets, because that section of the screen's looking kind of full. We've got a bunch of requests, though, so let's go... I'm going to assume... I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that us talking to the... What's his fucking name? Mizorogi. Um, I, I'm going to assume us talking to Mizorogi is not going to lead to a whole fucking series of events and that we're just going to say hi and then we're going to get called by the agent dudes to do some bullshit. Yeah! <laughs> 
He's having fun. God, this game's wacky. Yeah, this is a good game series. What is happening? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm gonna assume we're. I don't know. It's like, sorry, I, I kind of like lost track of my thought for a little bit there. But uh, basically, it's. I'm assuming that we're gonna get like called by uh, by by the agent dudes, and then it's gonna be like, hey, we kidnapped your boyfriend again, or something like that. Yeah, because it has a weird thing where, like, you'll get... It, it does that thing a lot of video games do, where you'll have a very innocuous task, and then when you get there, some unexpected tomfoolery happens, and then you get roped into this whole thing. A platinum plate! We're rich, boys. I'm a locker peeper. Oops. Where's, uh... There's Ebisu Pond. Let's get, let's get over there. I wish I could use the, the jet boots to get around faster. That would be very funny. <laughs> Money. Just a businessman late for some business. Uh oh yeah. Oh, where did I get these other two platinum plates? When did this happen? Whatever. Oh, I have more plates than I remember having. Okay, I just never did this. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. And uh, can we can we invest in Akame real quick? Or She seems like uh, less of an asshole than the other criminals I run into, so I don't mind giving her just copious amounts of money. Yeah, because there's a mix of criminals who are like, you know, he's uh, he's on the wrong side of the law, but he really means well, and people who are actually straight up just evil. Sometimes someone starts as one and then ends up as the other. Sometimes the game tries to convince you that a really evil guy is a nice guy, and I don't really buy it. Oh, this shit is expensive. Alright, um... Earn more points. Fewer required to upgrade. Increase the drop rate. Why not? I don't know how the fuck she is going to... I don't know how... I don't know how investing in a Kame makes people carry more money for me to loot, but whatever. I don't question it. Slick Tires Plus, ooh. Mm, let's pick up a request while we're here, I guess. Fuck, that's a lot of them. All right, simple head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, final showdown, red peacocks. Let's finish these guys off. Red peacocks rumble. Those red peacocks you took down before. Seems like they want to have a word with you. Actually, more like sell things once and for all. I imagine they're gonna try and take you all, you know, take you on all at once. All at once. Not even one on one. Huh? They should grow a pair first. They're waiting for you at Shofukucho. Want it, what you gotta do? Uh, I'll go. No use dragging this out. I'm going to get this over with. I think you would, Joryu. You. You're the genuine article. Don't likely have a bunch of guys there, so watch yourself. Uh, yeah. Stop the red peacocks again. Oh, they're right there. Okay. Hey, 
резонирует. The cigarettes are funny. Alright, uh, are we healed up? Let's... Do we have anything that heals you up, like, just a little bit? Ichiban Sunday. Thanks, Ichiban. Alright. Uh, man, we could use some more equipment is what we could use. And I like... This one. Okay, so we got defense against... We got a little bit of defense against bullets. We got a little bit of defense against blades. That's just a big number. We can do that one. Or we can turn on bleed this. I do want stun resistance. Alright. Actually... Let's put the plus one on. There we go. Since we're dealing with uh, these dudes. These... These homies brutal. <laughs> Well, if it ain't the little piece of shit coward, you're the one that has 12 guys here, dude. <laughs> Figured you'd be too busy shitting yourself to show. We're gonna settle things for good this time. Good. I beat you one-on-one -on -one already. I thought we did set settle things. Uh -huh. Shut the hell up. I could, like, I could accept that shit. The Red Peacocks are gonna be the number one crew in Soap and Bori. No way in hell we're gonna back down now. We'll make an example of you and rise up to the top. Together. And if I defeat you, you're going to swear to put an end to all this. Uh. Huh, <laughs> sure. If you win. Come on, let's snap this old man in half. Good start. Knock it out in time. I am not playing that great. Jesus. Alright, hang on. This is- this actually is like a lot of guys. <laughs> that was not the direction I wanted to throw that. Got a lot of health, interesting. Alright, one at a time I guess. Some space. real life I'd get my ass fucking beat because these guys wouldn't be waiting for me to beat up one of their guys to start to like kick in and start punching me but you know it's a video game okay we cleared up some space Now he's mad. Alright, let's heal up now that we've cleared some space. Uh, 
Toughness Z. I don't want to use up, like, anything humongous. Just to heal a little bit. Ichiban Senpei? Oh ho! <laughs> yeah, I forgot how fast this guy is. Got it! Stay on the ground. Yep. Took that one. Right, let's get back up. <clears throat> the Blesswood armor is really helping me. There he goes. Fucking easy. <laughs> I've only gotten more powerful. God, the first time we fought that guy, it took fucking forever, but that was a lot easier. Huh. <laughs> You're unreal. We had such a huge damn advantage. Someone who isn't even prepared to take me out one to one can never beat me. Now, keep your promise and give up your ways. Fine. God damn it. So long. Uh, wait. Hmm? What? I want to become strong like you. Would you... <laughs> Would you teach me, Papa? <laughs> what? Teach you? What are you talking about? I don't take on disciples. Please. It'll be the motivation I need to better myself. <laughs> Have it your way. Alright! Thank you. I won't let you down. That's... That's it? <laughs> I thought his stats would be better than that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Leader of the gang Red Peacocks and Soten Bori. He fights in a bare-knuckle fighting style. He's a dangerous man who becomes ferocious the moment he gets his hands on a weapon, but he's good at aggressive fighting and boldly confronts his enemies. <laughs> who the fuck are these guys? Are, is there a blue gang now? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like the red peacocks have really fallen. Huh. But that just means it's our chance to expand. <laughs> That's right. Soon, Sotenbori will belong to us. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> it just keeps going. Are they all named after birds? Is it gonna be like, I don't know, the fucking... Red peacocks is one thing. What, what's the... The Brothers Pants. <laughs> Not at all what I was going for, but I, I, you know what, we'll stick with that. <laughs> Brothers Pants Suit, that's their name now. I don't care what their actual name is, it's probably gonna be Blue something. Oh my god. Give me some Wild Jacks in my life. Greetings. Never had... I don't think I've had much oolong tea. It's, it, it was available, I just never went for it. I don't- I don't- well, I don't drink much tea, to be honest. Does oolong have caffeine? Because if so, that's probably why. Dude, I would not be on my phone on the streets in Sound Bori if I knew there was some dude running around just plowing people over just to get to where he's going. I have to be extra vigilant. Jory. Joryu, you're back! Heard you've been crushing it at the Coliseum. Ooh. I can't believe you put down Hammerhead so easily. You're exactly the man I thought you were. <laughs> it's all thanks to you. With your help, I earned a nice bit of cash, too. Well, that's just the first step on your journey. If you're gonna fight, you might as well aim to be the best. <laughs> and if you conquer the castle strongest using my weapons, I can die a happy man. Ooh. You might not have heard it yet, but the castle's long been ruled by four unbeatable champions. 
Of course they call themselves the fucking Four Kings. What the, what the fucking, hang on. And Yakuza 0, fucking, what was it, 4... It was like, Real Estate had fucking 4 dudes. Real Estate Royale was the name of the fucking minigame in that game. No, it was the 5 billionaires. <laughs> Those were the guys you were fighting in Yakuza 0. And then it's like, uh, it's like the four kings, the four emperors, the five billionaires, the fucking whatever. <laughs> kings, huh? So they distinguish themselves even among the Colosseum's cutthroat competition. Mm. Naturally, every one of them is platinum rank. They're the elite of the elite. And the most powerful of them all perched atop the castle's throne is the man who smashed my youthful dreams to smithereens. Nanny. Oh, really? Ugh. It was well on 20 years ago now. I was traveling and training day and night on my quest to be the world's greatest. I crisscrossed the globe, searching for anyone tougher than me. Every night, every sight I saw, every whisper I heard, I lapped him up greedily. Mm. <laughs> Five billionaires. Four... What, four fighting kings, three something like that. <laughs> you could probably you could probably make this you could you could probably make your own version of that. I put I was pushing at the very limits of human strength. <laughs> or so I thought. What should I do? Something tells me this is gonna be a long story. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll tell you later. You must be about ready to drop. I'll save the boring old stories for next time. <laughs> Huh, if you say so. I really don't mind, though. <laughs> you really are a special man. I'm crazy about you and your strength, Joryu. This is... interesting. It could be done, but in a year, the season is over. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone could blow up, blow the top off the castle, it's you. Listen. Listen, Kurt. If you see Christmas season as lasting 11 months, then it's never over. <laughs> If anyone could blow the top off the castle, it's you. You're this old fossil's dream come true. Keep up the good work. It's always Christmas season. I'm always feeling festive. There's no escape. Santa's, o Santa's always around the corner. Hello, <laughs> Isn't this exactly what I said was gonna happen? Like you walk out, you get a phone call. Alright. There's a way to make Asian style work really well, and I don't know it. I remember when Payday did their own version of that song, where it was like uh, they had they had they had something for they had they had something for each of the numbers. But the hilarious thing is that as the song went on, things just kind of got more chaotic. And the one for five was fucking amazing because it was I think it was Dallas just yelling five bullets left. <laughs> I do, I do love a good song that's, like, adaptable. This must be the place. Just one of the many Daidoji bases that Hanawa mentioned. 
Haynes is giving all the good voice lines. Uh, it wasn't Chains, it was da- I, Was it Chains or was it Dallas? I thought it was Dallas. Chains, though, does have my favorite voice line in Payday 2, which was, uh, like, if you- if you get Inspire on him, which is the move that makes you revive someone by yelling at them, one of Chains' lines is, PAIN IS AN ILLUSION! <laughs> and, then you're, and then the guy just gets up. GET THE FUCK UP! Yeah! <laughs> He's just so excited. <laughs> I just love the idea of getting yelled at by chains and going, You're right, these you these bullet wounds actually aren't that bad. I'll get up and keep fighting. Oh my god, they got the fucking... They got the triangulation lines and everything. <laughs> Excellent point, Chains. I will get up. この状況にどう対処すべきか検討中です。するのもここにいるんだな。え、あちらの取り調べ室。別に手荒く扱ってはいません。もうやめてるわ、ファザン。He is there a window in the store? It doesn't look like it. Who the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Is this guy? Is this guy? He looks familiar. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, so he thinks he's going to be a disobeyed direct orders to save your boss. I feel like that's excusable. It should be excusable if this organization, like, cares at all. should be excusable. こちらです、花尾さん。主任と繋がっています。わかりました。上流も一緒にということです。お聞きの通りです。ちょっと、ウォーター。主任ってのは大同時一派の幹部という認識でよろしかろうと思います。実は私もそれ以上よく知りません。
Yeah, my like I like yeah. Our, our agreement was that I die, and then you guys take care of all the evidence, and then I get to be your agent for fucking free or whatever. Now you're like, yeah, we might need you to kill like twenty something people. Like I can leave, you know. If the secret's out, then there's no point in me sticking with you people. Oh my god, these people suck. <laughs>。何 大きな組織です。秩序を保つには常に掟が鉄の硬さを持つと示さねばなりません。あなたが約束を交わしたのはそういう相手です。そして彼を軽んじるような真似をすれば、ペナルティを受けるのはあなただけじゃない。あなたが
That's weird. He has got this weird, like, guaranteed counter stance that always stumbles you, and I can't, I can't counter it like I normally do. Yeah, you see that? Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> it does let me get a couple hits in, actually. That's right, I could block bullets because I got the fucking body armor on. Yeah. You know, I like Yakuza style more than I like more than I like uh, Agent style, but yeah, Agent style does have its its, its features. <laughs> you can't kill me with bullets. I've got Takoyaki. Put the gun down! <laughs> he keeps running away. Oh, he's just posing. Okay. Fucking eat shit, Yoshimura. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Jesus. A lot of dudes. That's a two for one boss. That's uh this game's throwing a lot of challenges at me. Pretty nice. すぐにその電話を切ってください。朝顔にかけているんでしょう。子供たちに逃げろとでも勇気ですか。もう手を。Bro, can we just kill this guy? We fucking wasted our time saving him. Did you did you plant bombs at the orphanage or something? What the fuck did you do? The numbers XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
It truly is a pity that you made me threaten several children. God, what's wrong with you, Kiryu? All you had to do was kill a man in cold blood. These guys are lame. Can we leave? Really cramping my style. Now I'm s the sad guy in the cell. Hell yeah. Damn, chapter two is fucking packed. Christ. Chapter two is fucking packed. The man who knew too much. I think we're already we're, we're well past that. I think. All right, that's chapter t three of five. I think. This game just goes. Are you gonna shoot me now? What's the plan? Kiryu Kazuma, kore kara shoukei wo shikkou suru. God, I hate these people. Jiret takatta ro na. Korosu nara sassa to korose te yo. Tatase ro. Hana on toko ni tsurete ki. Are kara nan ni shita ta. お前がつるのを逃がしてからってことなら3日だ。奴が助けに来てくれるとでも思ったか残念だったな。沖縄の子供たちは。お前がそれ知ってどうなる。It would be extremely funny. Kiryu would never do this, but it would be extremely funny if Kiryu was like, "All right, I'll put the gun down. I'll put my hands behind my head." Call it off, and then right after Hanawa like called the dudes off and put the phone away, Kiryu just picks the gun back up and shoots, <laughs> or like just like snaps his neck or something. <laughs> just like once the agents start leaving the orphanage, it wouldn't work with the story, but it'd be funny. <laughs> Time for me to do some betraying on my own, I guess. <laughs> Kiryu -san. Hanawa does get the reward for biggest bitch, I'd say. I defied orders, like, broke the chain of command, did the whole thing to save this dude's ass, and then he fucking, and then he fucking, and then he does this. What a loser. Wanna be more dignified if I died standing? I guess if you go into like a Seiza pose, it'd be. It's like the proper way to do it. この処刑に依存はないな。信じられません。道島の竜が何とも修羅場を生き抜いたあのキリュウカズマが今私なんかに命を握られている。this guy is fucking stupid. <laughs> Rubbing it in like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
This is a nasty crossfire to do, though. <laughs> High chance of friendly fire here. Did Surna just like go home? Fade to black. Oh. <laughs> あんた恨んだりはしねえ。そうやってあなたはいつも真っ先に自分から犠牲にして。そんなことでどうやって今日まで生き残るんだ。<笑><笑> いいんだな。よせ。何やってる花は銃を拾え。覚悟があるわけじゃありません。それでもやっぱりできないんです。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
でかい仕事になるらしいそれでいいかな一派は500億手にして仕事は全部俺にさせるわけか不服なら全部ご破産にしたって構わんよその時は500億を返上するしあんたにはやっぱり死んでもらうことになる鶴野さんにもな選択の余地がないことは分かってるだが俺からも一つ条件を出させてくれヒリオさんもちろん聞くよ言ってみろ沖縄の子供たちへの監修を今すぐやめてくれあいつらの命が電話一本で奪われるそんな状況を許すくらいなら俺は死んだ方がマシだ俺が死ねばあんたらだって人員割いて朝顔を見張る必要はなくなるそうだな仮にうちが子供の監視をやめたとしてもいいかもしあんたにそれが事実か確かめる方法はないだろうそのことは承知してるか約束を守ることにかけては。You really shouldn't. You really fucking shouldn't. Literally, the last 30 seconds should convince you not to trust any of these people. So now we need you are to your eye now. Waste of trust. I'm not joking or no more. Kono Atashina, or show me now. Kosho said it's. God, this is all over the place. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm surprised. That's for sure. Like that's not what I expected to happen. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Hanawa. <laughs> You've lost the right to say anything. <laughs> you fucking weasel. Oh, <laughs> Oh, great. Everything's, everything's fine. Oh, my God. Kiryu san, if you say something, I don't have any time to say anything. First, I'll be able to get back to you. I'll be able to get back to you. I'll be able to get back to you. ケリオさんもあいつんとこやったら少しは落ち着くやろああそうだな住職もしかして、oh、私を迎えに来てくれたのか、えー、dude. 無理を聞いてくださり感謝します死にあんたから直々に命乞いされちゃうな。キリュウさんのこと,も,ーーさんのことも無限にはできん。<笑> It's that guy. It's the oldest man. 私組の500人は危なかった。あれでやっとお偉方と交渉の余地ができた。するとキリュウさんは天に愛されているようですね。今のセリフ本物の坊さんみたいだ長いことばけてると板につくもんだなそれはどうも恐れ多いことですゲンギス・カンス・カズン、He was there <laughs> all along That doesn't make sense, but you know, sure, why not? <laughs> no, he's probably like, you probably joke that he was the cousin of like the, uh, like Oda Nobunaga or someone like,、uh, some old Japanese guy. I don't think, I don't think Genghis attempted and then failed to make it to Japan twice, so I don't think that, I don't think that's quite it. <laughs> 
What are you doing hanging out in the torture chamber, dude? Don't think you're off the hook just yet. I got a grudge, and I ain't forgetting it anytime soon. Go on. Try disappointing obeying orders again. I'll happily pull the trigger myself. I gave you, like, three concussions. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust myself if I were you. もう、お前のことを花尾に任せる。これ以上かませ smoke break? Does this do anything? Okay. That. That's an insane thing to suggest. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that's probably true. <laughs> I think if, uh, I think if, you, I think if, I think if everyone in Japan turned out to be Mongolian or Chinese, that would cause, like, a national crisis. Like, just actually, because they, they, they take, like, family lines really seriously over there, and they have a whole registry, so, like, it'd be, it'd probably cause a crisis. <laughs> Alright, there's some people we could beat up for money, or we could hang out with a comic. I think we're nearly done. Swagger, you, you've got astounding time. You came in right before I'm about to finish again. Um, but uh, we're probably going to hang out with a comic a little bit, see what this cutscene is about, and then we'll probably call it for today. I'm fucking tired. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> ついでに体も洗ったのかその場合はついか料金やけどなそっちは間に合ってるかシャワーは助かるそうしたらあれかご飯にするあれかお風呂にするそれともあたし<笑> <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty good at that. It's probably a, probably a time zone thing. <laughs> you cannot be flirted with. He just deflects all all attention. <laughs> One thing that's really funny about Kiryu is that he's actually kind of horny in Yakuza 0, at least in the side content. And then, like, Yakuza 3, I think, like, Yakuza, t like, 3 onwards, he just stopped paying attention to women. It was kind of funny. He must have, he must have done that thing, like, where some dudes in, like, their 30s and 40s, like, their, um, like, their sex drive just drops off a cliff. <laughs> and he just doesn't care anymore. Morning, Joria. How you feeling? Yeah. She used his own husband. That's a great way to describe it. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Things have been a little complicated lately. Mm. Being coy, huh? That ain't like you. Sienna. How about you check out a request? There's plenty piled up. Someone's been sitting on their ass. Uh. Yeah, might not be a bad idea. Wouldn't hurt to have some cash in my pocket, and I am curious about the castle. Anone? It can get pretty shady at times, but it's got its benefits. The higher your rank, the more you fight. You can fight and access exclusive areas. Squeeze all you can out of the place, you know? Uh. <laughs> He's a lone wolf. He, he can only count on himself. He doesn't need the attention of women. <laughs> Maybe I'll focus on raising my rank then. Sounds like it'll pay off down the line. That's the spirit. I'm, I'm fixing to keep my informant star on the rise too. If you make it to gold, it'd be, it'd be great. Real great for the both of us. Mm. And what is it I need to do again? Anna? Two things. You gotta get the Akame Network to level 10. We've already done that. Complete a request or two and you'll be there in no time. You also gotta rack up some wins in the Silver Rank Coliseum matches. If you can beat three of them, you're golden. <laughs> Literally. 
when you want to give it a try, just give me a shout. I'll take you to the castle anytime you like. That is two Don't times die. now that they told us to get up to gold, so I guess we'll do that. Let me know when you meet the requirements to rake up too. I know you can get that gold, Joryu. Is it literally required? It is literally required to get gold rank. Oh god. <laughs> He's going full wolf. Should have known. He's returning to the woods. Alright, I think we're gonna call it there for today. Um, it's been, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of bushed. I slept too much. Also, uh, one of my viewers appears to be turning into a werewolf, so I think that's a good, I think that's a good call to leave. <laughs> Anywho, um, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed. I, um, I like this game a lot. I'm having fun with it. Uh, looks like we're probably gonna be doing some side activities next time we, uh, we do this next week. So, that should be exciting. Um, tomorrow we're playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, so we'll be, uh, we'll be back on that. Um, and we're probably, I think what I might end up doing, I know I keep saying that I'm probably gonna do, like, the business mini game. I keep, I, I'm having a hard time finding time, like, in the middle of the week to do that, so I think what might end up happening is that we might finish the main story of Yakuza Like a Dragon, but we'll keep that, yeah, but, see you later, Swagger. Um, but we might, um... We might like finish. We might finish that game up and then follow it up by just doing the business, um, the business side of things, just cause he, uh, uh, just cause, uh, ju ju just to like, I don't know. Maybe we can keep that slot going for a little bit, and then it'll just probably just be me like grinding up the business to the next like point that like story stuff happens, and then I'll uh, and then I'll stream like the actual like story stuff. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really know how I'm going to do that. But uh, once that's done, that'll be done. Uh, so tomorrow, it's probably mainly going to be sub-stories and main story content. Um, but yeah, that'll probably be... Th this is it for today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time I see you. Thank you very much once again for watching, and uh, I hope you have a nice weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>